Yep, so this is why there hasn't been a lot of audio going on with everything, because I don't haven't really had much of a voice the last several days. So, uh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you? Like, sad guys last time. How are, how are you doing? You guys good? So we went with the uh, one spacer. Probably could have got away with none, but I bought them and now I got an extra one on hand, so yeah. Uh, you can still see a little bit of silicone in there and it's been sitting for a good 48 hours now before I even got it wet. You can see there. And it does look more like an actual badger when it's wet. So it's pretty cool. Uh, first lather with any brush. So when I do a natural hair brush like Badger, I normally use, I don't even use soap the very first time. I kind of do a, one of these, I got these pine tar soap and conditioner and I just kind of mess with that. Uh, with the synthetic, I'm not gonna bother. But uh, I'd say nine times out of 10, that first lather you get with a brush is gonna be garbage when you're breaking it in. Actually, it seems like the cheaper the brush is, the better that first lather is going to be. Or the knot, I should say. So, uh, going to use uh, some CK1 that I got laying around. It's been in the circle of death for a hot second here. So, uh, I'm just going to go at it here. See how we do. Get it broken in. And just kind of go nuts because I'm not planning to shave right now. I'm actually in my pajamas. I'm going to be going to bed after this. But. This is where we are right now. It's definitely working. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this. It's not a very long video thus far. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a part two and do the first shave with it. I'll probably film the first shave with it and decide then, depending on how long that is. Got some other new goodies to play with. I realized, so I, I didn't get it knotted intentionally when I bought it from AK. A, because I wanted to do my own knot. And so I could basically, due to like gift card and the points I had, I could get this G5C ship for like just over 10 bucks. So I picked that. I was looking at the G5A, but I've not had a lot of love for bulbs. I'm not a bulb boy, I'm more of a fan man. So I went with this, and then I kind of realized I was looking at my my previous AKA brush, and I was thinking back, and I don't have the best memory. But I was thinking back, and when I bought that from Terracy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty damn sure that's already a G5C. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I'm going to re-knot one of these, or sell that one and get a different brush. That's this Peacock one here that's really striking they had a masquerade bowl that matched this pretty much i did perfectly it's okay <laughs> i had a very short slip there that uh, i had a really hard time not buying especially because it kept getting discounted so whoever got that kudos to you if you want a matching brush hit a man up well, let's just take a look over here it's a very if I would never lather with this anyway, or never shave with what I have going on here, it's very dry and pasty right now. But it's good. If you've, I doubt anyone's done this, but if you ever bought a brush, used it once and weren't impressed with it and got rid of it, you just did the next person a really big favor because you broke, especially a synthetic, you broke that thing in for him. So, so we're, we're just, Breaking it in. I would not shave with this. No siree. Not a lot of scent strength left here when you tub lather something to the end like this. This will be the second soap I've killed. I killed my original uh, Barrister Man Seville in Excelsior. Funny thing happened before I started filming. Uh, just drying, drying my hair with a blow dryer. Cause I'm a modern man. And uh, right when I turned off the hair dryer, everything went pitch black in the bathroom. And uh, 
I was like, oh, that's inconvenient. So that's what we're looking at here. See, so yeah, again, I wouldn't, wouldn't shave with this, kids. Wouldn't do it. Very soft hips though. Good backbone. You can see there it's still looking badgery. It's not doing that twisty thing you get with some of the cheaper synthetic knots where it kind of ties up right here in the middle. Just doing a little palm lathering. Shout out to Scott. A little palm lathering action from our, our esteemed founder. Anyways, so I was like, oh. So I tried hitting, you know, the reset, nothing. I'm like, okay. So then I went to my garage, started flipping stuff out there, nothing. Misread a text from my wife, was talking to my dad trying to troubleshoot it, and he reminded me that uh, this was an unfinished basement when the people bought it and they finished it, they had put a new fuse box. And that's in the office. And I went in there and flipped the broken, the, the numbered switch for the barrel. I'm like, turn nine right away, so boom. Let there be light. But I gave my wife credit. Man, that's soft. That's nice. So, yeah, so I didn't get the AK7 fan knot because I presumed I already had one. And then I thought back and said, you know what? I'm pretty damn sure this is a G-Man right here. But this handle, we'll get you a close up on this. You've seen a lot of it, I know, until now. It looks like we're gonna have a part two video. It's getting long. Just trying to get all this soap out of there. Remember, the cool kids use silicone. They actually, use silicone that I have been using to install new sinks, faucets, not new sinks, faucets. In my upstairs bathroom. Alright, I'll shake her out here. I swear as we go and we take this in the shower and you just shh. Till it's dry, but that's what we're looking at. So you can see. Not held up. I'm almost glad that the scent has worn off quite a bit on this. Man, that's holding on though. That's CK1. <coughs> on obtainium now, you know. We ain't gonna bring that back, I bet. Uh, but this is beautiful. Got that gold brass uh, new coin. We compare it to the old coin. Push a little something like that. Compare them there, maybe. Can you see it? Do you see? But yeah, definitely easier to read. I like all that filigree they had going on there at the OG coin. Might re -knot it, honestly. I don't know. With what? I don't know. Do I need two G5Cs? Probably not. This, though, it's got, like, if you look here, cream, green, love me that, little brown in there, and then you get these little, like, flecks of, like, copper. And there, it reminds me of this paperweight that my dad's mom had <coughs> when I was growing up. Uh, forget the animal. It might have been a hedgehog or something made of copper and, like, a green background with, uh, yeah, and my first American ancestor landed in Copper Harbor, Michigan. And uh, <clears throat> so I like copper, it's pretty, right? You know what it looks really good with? Yeah, it does. So this, this may have kept this going because there's gonna be some nice <clears throat> looking um, thumbnails with these two together. Especially when you bring in the, uh, the copper bowl. That looks real good, right? So I really like this. Yeah, soft hips. Good. This is a beauty. Absolute beauty. Glad I grabbed that. So again, I don't know what I'll do with this <coughs> other AKA, and I don't know that I need to decide that right now. But again, I think they're... I think they're the same. I guess I could always ask them. They're real nice people. <coughs> so anyways, I already done more talking than I thought I was gonna do. But I guess I made this a uh, feature length video for you. So I would look for that in my next video. Uh, 
with, you know, I got my sense of smell back mostly. So, uh, we'll see what this is gonna be next. You got some new additions up there, not that many, but yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm tired, I don't feel well, but I wanted to share that with you. So if I can, re if I can not a brush, anyone can not a brush. We can all agree about that, right? I know all the Grimson would agree. Yeah. All right. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time.